New information this morning in the Dr. Donald Klein case. The former Indiana fertility specialist who fathered at least 94 siblings with his own sperm has settled with some of the children and their parents. According to Indiana's Patient Compensation Fund, as you see here, Klein through Indianapolis Fertility Inc. has paid out more than $1.3 million in three cases so far and has three more cases pending. $450,000 is the amount in the three settled cases, it appears, involving Klein's former clients and children. It all comes as Klein is front and center once again in the hugely successful Netflix film, Our Father. I broke this story seven years ago that Klein was using his own sperm instead of the patient's husband or that of a medical intern. And most of that information in these settlements appears to be confidential. But I'm working to try to uncover more. I've reached out to the siblings, their attorneys, the state of Indiana, Dr. Klein himself. Kent Winningham is an attorney with Wilson Kehoe Winningham, not affiliated with any of these cases, but understands the process and is here live this morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, I've been trying to get the details of this and so much secrecy here. So I'm like, okay, I need to find out with starting with these cases and you want to talk about what is what are they about and people want me to explain it to them what do you say sure so these are civil cases what okay. you're talking about they're not criminal cases and the civil cases really are for things like medical malpractice fraud breach of contract and, and civil battery so that's what these are yeah and i reached out to you and i want to make that clear because i think sometimes it's like, oh did he represent any of these um no you didn't i asked right. for you to kind of try to look through some of this documentation explain to us so when i'm going through when you look at court cases it's all anonymous but then there's another place that you can go that can give you more detail so what is in here so you're talking about the Indiana Patients Compensation Fund. Yes. Right, so what you're holding are some anonymous filings. So when you file a medical malpractice case in Indiana, you have to first file at the Department of Insurance. And, and you can't just outright name a doctor mm -hmm. or healthcare provider in state court. And so you have to go through a medical review panel process first, which is really quite rigorous, and get an opinion from that medical review panel before you actually can name a doctor outright in a suit. Okay, so when you're looking at these, so I first started looking at it and it appears that it'll say like the settlement on some of them, um, it'll say $350,000. Where does that $350,000 come from? You know, because a lot of people say, well, they feel like Donald Klein should have to quote unquote pay for this. Where does that $350,000 actually come from? Who is paying that money? And then how, where does the other $100,000 come from? Sure, so the $350,000 yeah. you're seeing is from actual Indiana Patients Compensation Fund. That's kind of the second stage of the case. Originally, so these happened in the, the action happened in mm -hmm. the 70s or 80s, so there's a cap on those damages of a total of $500,000. Today, if an action happened, medical malpractice uh -huh. event, and you pursued a case, it, the cap would be 1.8. Wow. So what happened is the doctor's insurance carrier would really probably only have been responsible for $100,000. Hmm. And then you can then go seek further compensation and try to prove you're entitled to further compensation in the amount of another $400,000. And so here, likely what happened and you're seeing is that folks were settling these cases for an additional $350,000 from this state fund. Okay, so right now there are three settled cases and then there are three more cases that are going through the process. Um, somebody that um, is watching or somebody that has a family member, you know, we have 98 different, at least, families here, or um, some of them they had like um, twins and triplets. Who is entitled to, if you will, to even try to file a case like this? And if you don't file it within a couple of years, are you kind of out of luck? Well, so there's factual nuances to all yeah. of this. Usually, medical malpractice cases, you have two years from the date of injury to file a case. Mm -hmm. Now, there's exceptions when you discover your injury later, and if you shouldn't have discovered it earlier and you discover it later, there might be extensions. So there, you probably have two years, but it's not for, for certain from, from that date. And the court has said that basically, you know, folks like um, you know, Liz White's son and, and uh, like that, they, had, they are third party beneficiaries. So they really w had a duty owed to them. Um, and so they would have causes of action, yeah. sons and, and daughters and, and folks like that. Yeah, so it, it, because I don't, I only have 30 seconds left because I don't know a lot of times even what to ask here. I mean, I'm just a journalist trying to learn a little bit about everything and figuring these things out. What do you think is the most important takeaway as people are um, wanting to learn more and kind of looking at your expertise here? I think that this is kind of showing how difficult it is to pursue a case in, in Indiana for medical malpractice. 
85% of the time at the medical review panel stage, the, the healthcare providers are going to find four other healthcare providers, and then you have caps and limits on damages. Uh, they're 1.8 million today, but that used to be 500,000 yeah. for these folks in the 70s and 80s for these cases. So I think it sheds light on the difficulty of, of these cases and the fact that insurance is going to cover these, and really Dr. Klein is not going to be paying much of any of this out of his pocket at all. No, and there's no, and they, they have no recourse. They can't go after him per se and any other way personally. It'd be difficult. Okay. It'd be quite wow. difficult. All right. Hey, thank you very much. We sure do appreciate it. Great insight. And